Magic coming at you. Okay. Those of you guys saying reforge GS, no. If you reforge the GS and you get something worse than GS, you throw the game. I reforged the BT because it wasn't very good. I'm probably still dead. Yeah, just kill me now. Guys, like, I'm, like, pissed off enough as it is because of this goddamn Syndra meta. I, there's literally, like, no winning. I don't play Syndra, I lose to Syndra abusers. I play Syndra, I can't hit Jack. I don't even know how. How is it possible to miss that hard? How is it possible to get your tier grief that second pick every single time? How is it possible to then get four swords? How is it possible to then be stuck at eight Syndras for 45 gold? How? It doesn't make any sense. Box Box, genuine question. Why do you play 18 plus hours of TFT if it gets this frustrating? You're not gonna like the answer. The answer is really lame, but I'll tell you. The reason why I'm playing 18 plus hours of TFT is because I feel that I have to. I am running an event in collaboration with Riot Games to like celebrate TFT. Unfortunately, it, it was going really well. Unfortunately, the meta shifted in one of the most boring and frustrating ways possible, but the event still goes on. I feel a responsibility to Riot and to TFT to like keep playing. I am aware that like it's really uncomfortable and like pissy because like all, all you can do is just like play the same three builds and then like get angry when you don't hit. That's what me and every single other person in the bootcamp is doing right now. But nonetheless, I still feel a responsibility to stream the game. Riot isn't holding a gun to my head forcing me to stream it, but I feel as the organizer of the event, I need to keep streaming TFT. And I don't feel like I can end my stream until I've given a good performance. And as you guys can see, there's not enough things for me, there's not enough like ways for me to play the game to give you guys a, what, I, what I feel like is a good performance. There's no like cool builds I can go for, no creative ways to win the game. It's just force the same shit as everybody else and then just pray that I'm the one who hits. That game was an eighth. And it like very easily could have been a first if I just like hit a little bit more harder, right? I got to eight Syndras and then I never saw another Syndra for, for 60 gold. If I got to eight Syndras and then I saw the last Syndra, like we'd be ending the stream already. I don't even know if I'd call it a good game though. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it a good game. It would just be like, a, yeah, I forced Syndra and I hit, so I won. I actually started off the stream with like four of those. I climbed like 200 LP at the beginning of the stream. I'm just like, yep, uh, the game gave me a Shojin and a Syndra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go play it. Oh, I got first. And the other game's like, oh, I uh, got an opener for Karma. I rolled down an eight, I hit Karma, I got first. The only diff- like, I'm playing the exact same way I played before. The only difference between, like, back then and now is that back then I hit, and right now I'm not hitting. That's why I am incredibly frustrated. I don't really feel like I'm playing a game right now. I love TFT as a whole, but I hate this current patch. It's super unplayable. Nonetheless, I try to play in hopes of finding something interesting. There's the answer. I told you, you probably weren't gonna like it. I'm gonna do it. And A, it's Squirrel. Thank you guys for the subs. I'll be right back.
This guy is trying to grief me. He sold his board. There's beauty in even the smallest moments. Here goes everything. Welcome back from the ad break. I think this guy's gonna sell his board. Oh, he didn't. I got owned. Honestly, it's fine. I made econ. I played Fortune twice today. One time we got first, and the other time we got fourth, which is actually a very surprising result. The first time we pulled off the cash out correctly, and then we just like never lost again because the value of the reward was really high after on a 10 loss streak. Uh, the second time, I cashed out prematurely because I misjudged a fight, and I tried to save HP. We cashed out like 7, and, and our reward was 2 items, which was pretty bad, so I'm honestly pretty surprised that we were able to salvage it. Uh, okay. What's the number of losses to cash out? Uh, 10 is where you can probably get first place. I mean, you can still get first place on like an 8, but... You're basically just playing the game normally if, if you cash out at eight. Who wants a piece of this? The magic is within you. Okay, at some point I need to start trying to save HP, but for now I think I'm down to make fifty. Okay, so the way I've been playing Fortune, you just I mean Okay, not to beat a dead horse too many times, but I do the same thing I literally do every single game that is not a, an easy reroll game. You buy all the preservers, you buy flexible units like shape, uh, Nico shapeshifters, and then you buy any four cost that makes sense, like, like these guys. And then you slam items that make reasonable flex options. TG, Adaptive, uh, Sterex, Sunfire, Red Buff, Archangels. Edge of Night usually has someone who can use it. And then you just like do the big roll down, pray that you hit if you cash out is usually a good sign. Oh shit. Oh thank god, oh thank god. I saw him in. And then I was like, uh oh. I didn't ha I didn't have the reaction time to sell. But luckily he did not int correctly. Oh my god. Holy shit, thank god. That was actually incredibly close. He almost pulled off Although if he did it any earlier, I would have I would have been able to sell in time, so I'm not I wasn't too worried. Okay, uh, yeah, just slam all the flex items and then just go eight. I'm gonna try my best to save HP. I, I have this part up so many times. This is the really hard part where you wanna kill like three units every round without actually winning. You have to like be really good at judging your fight strength and then just make sure you always make a board that is slightly weaker than your weakest opponent's board. Okay, uh, I like Gargoyle. Who wants a piece of this? Okay, I like Adaptive, incredibly flex item. We just want to make sure every item has a home when you do the roll down. And then we can go for Archangels next. Oh no, I didn't save that HP. Shouldn't you lose more? I I am losing more. I'm trying to kill a couple units every round. That's that's the hard part of playing Fortune. Uh, Tiny Titans. Tiny Titans. Ok, 
Okay, I should be weaker than everybody right now. Let me try to position in a way that will kill. And I'm actually like making good progress on setting up my board. I don't know how much a Zoe 1 can do though. Zoe 2 is the ideal unit for Fortune, in my opinion. She, she's very good at killing a couple of units every round, and that's it. Someone like Ash splits her damage too much. Oh, f we split our damage. Oh no. I have to lose three more. If I can get like eight HP losses, I think we're good. The dragon nears. I should be good to level. I lose this, right? Oh, actually a really good loss. 7 HP loss. Okay. I wanted the tier, but it's it's a 1 gold tier. I'd rather just get a glove and go TG. TG is ultra useful for fortune. Alright, let's see what everyone's playing. Every mistake is a lesson. This guy's playing a Nilo one. Uh, I need to weaken my board a bit. No, he, he's actually like really weak. Okay. Thank God I got that last out of the way. Now I can actually play the game. Okay. All right. Can I get a pause champ in the chat? Oh, I don't think I'm killing this split screen. It's time. This is a bad loss. No. Oh, I like didn't kill anything. Ah, if I saved like three HP here, I'd actually still be on three lives. I don't know how, how did I split my damage among three targets? All right, whatever, focus. All right. Buy all the preservers, the shapeshifters, get at least one karma, find some two-star four costs. You have to cash out right now. We're on two lives, unfortunately. Need a sword, I think.
Come on. Nice. Oh. I reforged it because I already have an anti-heal. I already have a red buff. I got another one. Okay, not the end of the world. It's kind of a bad cash out, but I think my, my game is still playable. I'm at three scholar, three shapeshifter. Rise should be swapped out for a karma, but it's a rise too at this point. I'm not going to complain. It's a good cash out though. I didn't want to take uh, spell blades because I wasn't 100% sure that I was playing it. I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to play Karma that game or this game. Okay, I'm definitely chilling. Yeah, it it's a very awkward board, but I should be good to win. Yeah. I should be good to just like. If this doesn't win streak, like it's time to quit TFT. This board's really strong. The the net, the Titans was a bit of a hasty slam. Titans is not a very good item, but I had to win that round. For item, uh, I personally really like getting a bunch of Melio items. I think Melio hard carries. So we give me. Uh, we're looking for a Shiv or a second Gwinsus. Imagine if you had the plus one to all traits. Yeah, but there's there's no way I'm like making it there. I'm too poor. Wait, what? Was this the correct amount of gold that I was supposed to have? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, my board's are, my board state's so awkward. Three, three scholar, three shapeshifter. All right, there's not much I can do about it. Uh, I should need to play Morgana over Swain. But I have to just play Rise for a while. I'm sure this Rise two is better than Karma one anyway. Actually, that might not be true. Karma gives Chrono, which is pretty big. Wait a second. Yo, somebody do something about this Gwen. Wait, holy shit, do I lose? Oh my god. I, I can't believe I lost that. I seriously lost that. The Gwen somehow like perfectly like went to here, to here, to here. I guess my fault for not clumping. It was literally like the Gwen just like got the perfect path to my rise. I guess I need to clump. Losing one of my two lives is incredibly bad. That's so bad. Holy shit. I could actually randomly just go 8th place for that. I need to scout really carefully and make sure that never happens again. Don't play Xerath over a rise. Only a 2 star. Okay, I think I just go... Oh my god. Losing that round cost me so much money. But I think I just go 9 and keep Donkey rolling. Can you still survive two losses? 
If I lose by like one or two units, I think I live. And then I think three or more, I'm dead. And then in, in stage six, I'm dead no matter what. So I guess it's rough. I've seen your death. It was painful. Nico back in her Nico stand. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna level. Keep still. If I lose this, then I deserve to. I deserve to lose. This should be so strong. I, I don't have a charm, but I'm too poor for that. I really need a shred. I actually could not get a shiv. I only need time. Flies like an arrow, fruit flies like banana. Hands off my meal! 81%. Uh oh. Oh, so much of this is because I don't have a shiv. I can't believe I didn't hit a tier. Since you're one life, uh, I'm still two if I get a good loss, so I don't want to risk it yet. Marvelous. Do I think I win my next combat? Watch out for Are we best friends now? The answer lies within. Challenge accepted. Is Karma better than Rise 1? I I'm thinking about it, but I... Like, no way, right? No way. It does fix my synergies. It'd be two Scholar, and then you get Chrono. Like, no way, right? We always meme about it, but... I don't actually want to believe it. I mean, if I hit a Karma too, though, that's instantly going in. Alright, I really need a Shiv. Or Spark. Crap. I want to play Camille, but... It's hard to get rid of my Shapeshifters. You'd have to sell Swain and Briar for Camille plus one. I guess, like, plus Morgana. Is even shot bad? Yeah. It's, uh, I'm doing magic damage. I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. The answer lies within. I think you give up on the Camille. Hands off my meal! I'm so nervous, holy shit. Being one life is terrifying. I'm, I'm the strongest player in the lobby, but one bad round like that, Gwen, and it's over. Why not remove the Titans? Uh, no, then your item distribution's weird. Like, Swain's not really good with this TG. Nasus actually is pretty good with the Radiant Titans because he can actually stack it up. Okay, 
Okay, I'm so scared of the Gwen thing happening again. There she is. I'm watching you. I made sure to clump a little bit harder this time. We can't let that incident happen again. Buy a unit. No, I'm waiting. Yeah, send the Briar in, then buy. Wait. No. Somebody stop this Gwen. Nice. No more incidents. Please, I need a shiver a spark so badly. Everybody's two lives. Okay, it's stage six now, so if I lose at all, it's over. I'm just gonna feed. Oh wait, I think I missed the window, I was too slow. Uh oh, I sure hope I don't lose because of like a one feed diff. Shiv? Shiv, spark. Okay. I bought the Nora. I was gonna do something where I Phantom Emblem, make a shapeshifter Nora for a little bit, but I, I realized like nah, just get, like you gotta just roll for Briar too. All right, just feed all the way. We're we're one life anyway. Play for the win out. We're so strong. Just don't get unlucky fighting ever again. Unlucky matchmaking. All right, give me a B. Don't change it. Real time. Don't change it right now. I I'm thinking you can drop Swain, but I'm not 100% sure. I'd rather just do four shapeshifter for my Nasus. All right, this is a battle for top two. Go get him, Nasus. Go get him, everyone. What a scary game. That Gwen incident actually gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Top three. All right, give me a B. Why Bard over Morg? Uh, Bard 2 is good backline and he gives Scholar 90% chance to win. Oh, I hope I didn't, I didn't let my spark die too early. This Diana might be a little scary. Hopefully Xerath doesn't one-shot my backline. Okay, we got it, we got it. Sorry, Scholar for uh, Emilio is what I mean to say. Oh my god. That game was actually horrifying. It was a good game though. We did a good roll down, we got a good cash out, and after the Gwen incident we were able to protect ourselves. If I didn't randomly hit the Karma too, I think I actually would have died. Oh, and the Spark at the end. I can't believe I didn't hit a Shiv on my components. That was nice though. Nice standard fortune game. 10 loss streak, cash out, win streak.